Where is the sign of Capricorn? Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Capricorn, for the present time, we got the hangman and the ace of swords. Now, what I'm picking up is that there's confusion. Um, someone is not sure what to do. You could be feeling like you're at a crossroads. Um, should you say yes? Should you say no? Should you go? Should you stay? You're just stuck. You're confused. Just don't know what to do. So, just to tell you a little bit more about the hangman. Like I said, it's about being at a crossroads. One with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you got no idea what it is or how to do it. So if this does happen coming up in June, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might let go of attempts to control life situations, people, or things. Because it's possible that there could be an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. So any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something easy even more positive than what you're letting go of. Overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change. The hangman is paired with the Ace of Swords. So this Ace of Swords is about some new beginning, possibly on more than one front on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning, it can be started by a separation of some kind from a relationship, from a job, from a neighborhood, from a situation, some type of separation, then you get the new beginning. But just know that as anxiety producing as such a new, be such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. So it's about not being afraid to take a leap if it's in your best interest. So basically coming up in June, Ace of Sword and the Hangman. Uh, looks like you're confused about something. You'll be having some, you'll be stuck in your head about something, not sure what to do coming up in June. So because it's with the Ace of Swords, this will all turn around once you realize what it is you need to put a stop to. You probably already know, but it's a challenge. Something you need to stop, something you need to end, something you need to move away from, something you need to change. Something needs to stop. That's why that big sword is there. And then you're no longer stuck. And, you're on, and then you're on to new beginnings of um, some sort in your life or with the person. And it will be great new beginnings on several fronts. But you gotta get out, you got to get stuff out of your head first. And it comes with putting a stop to something. And so that's basically what these two cards here together are saying. Now, if you're dealing with someone, let's take a look at how they see you. They see you like the moon card and the empress. The moon card is about feeling psychic, intuitive. It's important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. It's about going with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may take, unfortunately, longer than you would like for it to. So it's about trying to stay patient. And this is how your person sees you. They see that you could possibly be wearing a mask or they feel that way. 
they, they feel that you're not really saying how you truly feel. Now they see you as the Empress. The Empress, okay, this this woman, this green faced lady sitting on a a rock. <laughs> yeah, she's got a crown on her head. She's the type that has her own way of doing things and her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now that doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but it's a reminder not to ignore your creative side. And, in, and your intuitive side. It's about coming ab abundance, coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life and money is only one of them. And the Empress, just know that she can encompass any or all of them. So they see you as a deep love. Very deep love. They could also see you as wanting this connection to become deeper, sweeter, more true. Or it could go either way. It, it could be them. They could be seeing you this way or you could see them this way. But I'm picking up this is how they see you. They could see you wanting a deeper connection with them, or they could be wanting a deeper connection with you because they find you very attractive. There's deep love. The Empress is coming abundance. Um, people find, suddenly find you far more attractive for friendship and romance with the Empress here. And this is how they see you. They're really drawn to you like a magnet. Yep, for friendship and for love. So, but they feel that you, you're not saying how you, how you truly feel. Yeah, they think that you're just keeping some things to yourself. Some things are hidden. You're being secretive. Or you're just not expressing yourself, and then it makes them think that you're being deceptive. But they think you're beautiful. <laughs> so that keeps them there. And that's how they see you. Now, you see them as the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles, you could find you're enjoying new beginnings on several levels. They, these are very positive new beginnings because if you can see the picture, it looks like this one huge pinnacle. When you hear the word pinnacle in the tarot, that's cash, coins, money, finance. Anyway, this really, this this pinnacle uh, is sitting in the forest. If you can see the picture, it's sitting maybe at a uh, yeah really huge park or something. It's it's sitting um, yeah. Uh, what's surrounding it is all green trees, leaves, and it looks like it probably rained for maybe two or three or four days. And then there's a squirrel there, and if you can see his face, he looks like, wow, the rain finally stopped. Everything is new. There's no dirt on the, on the leaves, on the trees, on the grass anymore. No dust. Everything's clean and shiny and new. So... He's glad it stopped raining. Now he can come out and play because it's a new day. Even that pinnacle looks new. It's like it's a brand new pinnacle. Because there's no more dust or dirt on it. The rain washed it every... The rain washed all the dust and the dirt and the... Everything away. So everything is clean and new. So this is like um, enjoying positive new beginnings. And... Um, it's about being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future. You could also be starting something new, and this could be in the area of work or personally, but it's a good thing. So you see them as wanting this connection to rise to new and better heights. Or it could be someone that wants to reconnect with you. Yeah, 
um, you see them as wanting a new start with you. Now, it's with the Five of Swords, though. Five of Swords, it's about having mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. Yeah, it could be about a few people in particular. But since we're saying how you see them, you see them as having mixed feelings about you. So, when you get the Five of Swords, it's important to not ignore these feelings. But don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either. Because you could ruin the very thing that you want the most. Such as the Empress. Such as close intimate relationships with your friends, your lovers. So you might want to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. So basically, you see them wanting a new beginning with you, or they want to reconnect with you, or take this connection to an, the next level with the Ace of Pentacles here. But you see them being unsure because they got mixed feelings. Okay, they're running around with two swords, and they got three swords on the ground. They can pick them up at any time and just be out of there because this person is not really sure. Mixed feelings. That, that could also mean that conflict is near. It might be, you could see them as ready to start a fight, some argument with you. So let's take a look at why it's happening. Now, why it's happening, Knight of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Cups is very optimistic, very optimistic. Good card to see in a reading. It comes with messages. Somebody wants to reach out. Somebody got something to say. Somebody wants to talk to you. Yeah. This card, it's good, it's good news. It's all good news. It's what you want to receive. That information is what you want to hear. Knight of Cups tells you that things are going well. You'll be feeling charged up, ready for action. So the good news is with matters of the heart. So it looks like somebody's ready to charge in and sweep someone off their feet with this Knight of Cups. Now it's with the Ten of Pentacles, which is a beautiful card. It tells you that all is well. Um, your finance, your health. Um, all these things are great. Everything's going good. Make the best of it and make sure you share what you have, even if it's a kind word to someone who needs it. Because there's no complaints with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a very happy indicator when it comes to love questions. If you're committed, this card means that it will move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. Yeah, it's about a happy, peaceful period in your life. So, why it's happening, like I said, somebody wants to come rushing in. Offer a cup of love, sweep you off your feet. Be romantic and sensitive with the Knight of Cups here. And um, it's with the Ten of Pentacles. So the connection with the Ten of Pentacles, it moves to the next level. So this reading is kind of all over the place. So let's recap it and get the complete picture. So basically... For the present time, we talked about the Ace of Sword and the Hangman. So I'm picking up you, Capricorn. You're confused. You're stuck in your head. You don't know what to do. But I think you realize that there's something you need to just stop. Maybe it's an outdated attitude. Maybe it's a way of thinking. Maybe you need to move from your neighborhood. Something. Maybe you need to stop seeing your ex. Maybe you need to leave the person you're with. Something needs to stop and then you know that you will no longer be stuck in your head and confused. 
once you put a stop to to whatever it is you get new beginnings you get great new beginnings with this ace of swords so you're you'll be facing a challenge coming up in june yeah some type of challenge dealing with needing to put a stop to something so you can get stuck out of your head now, the person you're dealing with, like I said, they think you keep things from them. They think that you could be secretive with that moon card there. And it makes them feel like you're, decept you're deceptive. It makes them feel that way. You're de being deceptive, but they're really attracted to you. Yeah, there's a deep love there with the Empress here. And you see them wanting to have a new beginning with you. Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. You know, a beautiful new beginning with you. But they got mixed feelings because they feel like you, you don't really tell them everything that they need to know. There's too many unanswered questions. Too many things that they um, that should be talked about, but it's not. So they got mixed feelings. So they run around with two swords in their hand. And why it's happening? Well, like I said, somebody wants to come rushing in with a cup of love. Be very romantic and sensitive with this Knight of Cups. And I'm picking up it's your person. Yeah, because they, they're the one that has the Ace of Pentacles. So they want to come rushing in and offer you love. And there's a Ten of Pentacles right below. Wanting this connection to go to the next level. So, they just feel like they don't know enough about you. Or you just keep too much to yourself. So, the hangman could also be them. They could be kind of confused as to, as to what to do. Should they stay? Should they go? So maybe they think if they cut you out with this Ace of Swords here, then they'll be able to move on to a new beginning. Because you're with the Moon card here, they see you just, they think there's deception with you. But what's keeping them there is that they find you really attractive. They're attracted to you. They're drawn to you. And they see you as someone that they could have a, a family life with. Or take the connection to the next level but yeah they, they think that you you're wearing a mask Capricorn 